comedy. It's a typical Seth Rogen kind of comedy, uh, but in this case it was set um, in North Korea and it was about Kim Jong-un and uh, they, North Korea took great offense about it and basically issued terroristic threats and uh, that anyone showing the movie would bring down the wrath of North Korea upon them and uh, you know there might be violence and uh, yada 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 um, and all five of the United States major theater chains ran in terror from the terrorists and said, we're not gonna show this movie, it's too dangerous. Uh, I mean, they were partially driven to this by insurance companies and uh, um, the malls that the theaters are located in said things like, we forbid you to, to show this theater, we don't wanna expose our mall to potential bombs or gun-carrying lunatics or whatever it is, and the insurance company said, we won't support you, but for whatever reason, instead of defying them, one by one, you know, AMC and um, Regal and uh, every one of the, the, the five major trains, which between them control more than half of the, uh, the screens in North America and a rising number, they all backed out of showing the interview. And at which point Sony said, okay, uh, we're, no one will show this film, and we're so we're withdrawing it. We're, we're just going to release it to direct to video. At which point, I and and a number of other people screamed, "What the fuck do you mean nobody will show this film? <laughs> we'll show this film. The independent theaters will show this film." And it was not just me; it was also uh, like uh, uh, the Alamo Draft House was a big leader in this motion uh, from from uh, Austin, Texas, and many other independent theaters. Where, Independent theaters are frequently blocked from getting the big films by the trains. You know, Regal with its 3,000 screens says, no, you can't have Star Wars for your independent theater. Only Regal gets to show Star Wars and the other chains. So, and they would have done that in the interview except for the threat, but they completely caved in to this, this threat. And we, we, in living in Santa Fe, New Mexico, a 100 screen theater, we were not afraid of the North Korean terrorists. <laughs> So we put a we put an extra uh, an an extra teenager on the door <laughs> <laughs> to be ready for them. Uh, should any show up uh, with a nuclear weapon, uh, and uh, none of them did. And, and actually, we, we had a great success with the interview because uh, there are a lot of people in this country who uh, who value free speech, and we we packed the theater for the better part of a month, often with people who obviously had never seen a Seth Rogen film before <laughs> and would never have, will see another Seth Rogen film. <laughs> but they wanted to give the finger to uh, North Korea. So. so that's not the only community project you've got going there. Uh, and the one 